Some consider it the most powerful investigative committee in Congress, the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee. It has nearly unlimited purview to look at almost any matter that has a tie to government. In the past, that's been investigating everything from steroids and sports to the housing crisis. We recently spoke to the current Republican chairman of the committee, Jason Chaffetz, the oversight man who's watchdogging government under Donald Trump's presidency. There's no better way to understand the business of the House Oversight Committee than to see it in action. Who at the Department of Homeland Security is holding you back? So I have to work with the Office of General Counsel. Give me some names. I want to know who to call up here. Republican Jason Chaffetz is in the chairman's seat and can usually be found taking names, or at least trying. Today he's grilling a TSA official about why the agency is stonewalling investigations into retaliation against whistleblowers. Tell me the attorneys that are telling you not to provide this information to Congress, and tell me the names of the attorneys that are telling you not to provide this to the OSC. I want names. So it, I will follow up with your with you. No, your I want right you now. right now. You've had notice of this hearing. I need specific names. You got staff sitting there. How many staff are with the TSA? One, two, three. Hold them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One of these seven people has got to get on the phone, get your butt up out of this committee, and go get that information before this hearing is done. No, I think one of the. The big things you have to do is the chairman every day, almost every hour, you have to make decisions about what to investigate, what not to investigate. We get about 15 whistleblowers a day and you have to vet those and figure out what's real and what's not real. What are some of the most famous or infamous instances of investigations this committee's done over many years? And we had uh, the FBI director, Mr. Comey, come and talk about what was going on and not going on with uh, Hillary Clinton. That was certainly a big, big moment. It was, uh, the nation was captured to it. If I don't see the evidence there to make a case that she was acting with criminal intent uh, in her engagement with her lawyers. And I just, I guess I read in criminal intent as, as the idea that you allow somebody without a security clearance access to classified information. Everybody knows that, Director. Everybody knows that. How would you describe for people who don't pay that much attention to Congress what the job of the Oversight Committee is? Oversight was founded in 1814. Its role and responsibility is to, to look over every government expenditure there is. Uh, Abraham Lincoln actually sat on this committee when the two years that he served in the United States Congress. He was concerned that the president wasn't telling the truth, and so he set off on this quest to find the truth. More recently, the Oversight Committee issued more than 1,000 subpoenas involving alleged misconduct by the Clinton administration. It dug into a rock war contract fraud under President George W. Bush. It's probed the housing crisis, steroids in sports, and the IRS targeting of conservatives. Mr. Attorney General, do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth? I do. And in 2012, it held an Attorney General, Eric Holder, in contempt for the first time in history for withholding subpoena documents in the fast and furious gun walking case. There is no one person in this country that's above the law. Some people accuse the committee, whether it's being run by a Democrat or Republican at the time, of being political in nature, of in essence going after whoever's in the other party or if the administration is in the opposite party. Our job is not to be a cheerleader for the president. And I think that's, over the long term, one of the things we'll be judged by is, did you call balls and strikes that are coming over the plate, to use a baseball metaphor, did you call them the same on Democrats as you did on Republicans? Now, with President Donald Trump in the White House, that philosophy is already being put to the test. What issues has the Trump administration, if any, already put before you? Well, we have five different things that we're looking at as it relates to mishandling classified information, General Flynn, you know, going to, to Russia, taking money uh, for a speech. The president in Mar-a-Lago. I'm, I'm glad he likes it there. I want him to enjoy uh, life and get out and away from the White House from time to time, but you still have to deal with classified information at a moment's notice and do have questions about how he is handling that. Another thing that we have done is when Kelly and Conaway uh, went on national television and touted Ivanka Trump's brand.
it's a wonderful line. I own some of it. I fully, I'm going to just give it, I'm going to give a free okay. commercial here. Go buy it today, everybody. You can <laughs> right. find it online. All right. As an executive branch employee, you can't do that at any level of government. You can't endorse or support or use the bully pulpit or the assets of a, certainly the White House or any department of agency. Chaffetz and the committee's lead Democrat, Elijah Cummings, signed a letter asking the Office of Government Ethics to recommend possible disciplinary action. You know, we have to call it out and um, refer to it what it is, which is wrong, 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 and, and she just she can't do that again. What about the hottest topic in the media, the question of Russia's interference in the U.S. election? What is your understanding of the evidence as you know it? Well, we rely heavily on Devin Nunes as the chairman of the Intel Committee, as well as Adam Schiff, the, the ranking Democrat. Um, you can't just rely on the New York Times, but even the New York Times said there was no direct evidence that tied any of this together. So let's be vigilant. Let's understand that some of these bigger nation states, they're not necessarily our friends. They're not trying to do us a favor. The Russians, the Chinese, others are constantly uh, trying to probe us, trying to affect our, our nation. Uh, they're constantly spying on us. This is not breaking news. How you deal with it is interesting. So to suggest that this was somehow Donald Trump's fault or problem, I, it really does kind of mystify me. How do you explain when you watch TV news and you see politicians talk about it, it seems like everything's about Russia, almost disproportionately so. Where were they when Mitt Romney said that our biggest geopolitical threat was Russia and Barack Obama mocked him? Where were they on that one? And where were they when Barack Obama, as the president, stood up and said, even if you wanted to affect the ele election, you couldn't? There is no serious person out there who would suggest somehow that you could even, you could even rig America's elections. I'd advise Mr. Trump to stop whining and go try to make his case to get votes. But Russia and the election is one topic the Oversight Committee doesn't plan to tackle under Chaffetz. He says that's being done by the House Intelligence Committee, which has the necessary clearance to look into classified matters. A recent hearing got heated when Democrat Stephen Lynch argued the Oversight Committee should be investigating, too. They hacked the American election. That is There's worth no looking There's no evidence into. of that, and President Obama said that that wasn't even possible. This is high confidence. This is our own FBI. High confidence that they hacked the election. But they interfered with our elections. And if we're turning a blind eye to that, that's, that's a shame. That's a shame. That, that's core to our democracy. And, we, and look, if we're just going to say, oh, that's somebody else's work, that's not anybody else's work. That's our work. Yeah, Chaffetz says region, the committee is also again, taking a pass on voter fraud allegations of, from President Trump. We also need to keep the ballot box safe from illegal voting. I don't see any evidence of that. So I didn't pursue that investigation. Even though the President of the United States was saying there's evidence, I haven't seen any. Sometimes the leader of this committee in particular becomes a target yeah. of whoever's in the other party or whoever uh, is feeling attacked. Has that happened to you or do you expect that oh, to happen? It, yeah, it, it happens on a daily basis. How do you it, handle it? Just let it fly right past. No matter what issue, I can say that the sun is going to rise tomorrow and people on other side, either side of the parties will disagree about that. It, it, you could say that that flower is beautiful and you still get d disagreements. It's just, that's just the nature of it and you don't take it personally and remember that you got a wife and kids that love you and, and that's what's really important. On Wednesday, the Oversight Committee asked the White House and intelligence agencies to turn over all information they have on General Flynn's dealings with Russia and other nations. Flynn is President Trump's former national security advisor.